Hey again guys, and welcome back. I figured it was time for another quick um, kit build. So what I have here is actually what looks complex, but it's pretty simple. It's just a triple five timer based, um, actually that's not the timer at all. There's the timer. It's a triple five timer based um, doorbell kit. Uh, I think I think it works by um, ha charging a up a capacitor and the tone will increase till the capacitor is charged and then decrease uh, until it's completely discharged. Not 100% sure if that's how it works but I guess we'll find out so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna move the speaker aside because I don't think I'm gonna start there. So these two, oops, drop the diode back there over here and since the diode is so tiny maybe I'll start with the diodes so the band is over this way and you can just see the black band there so I don't think the diodes are different it says 4148 on both of them so I'm just gonna drop that in gonna be careful because they are glass diodes so there's one should be another one there's the other one you can see the black band there Okay, now I have four resistors, 4.7K, and yellow, I always remember yellow is four, and purple is seven, so four, seven, uh, black is zero, so 470, and then the red band um, adds two zeros, so 470 plus two zeros, 47K. So that's them, then you got the brown band for, I think it's 1% resistance or I'm um, sorry 1% tolerance these are straight from China though so I don't know if they're really 1% they just claim to be I could actually check them but I'm pretty sure you guys didn't come here for the policing of resistor percentages or tolerances I do have a bunch of resistors in stock though so if you guys do want to see me check the tolerances on a few of them to see if we can get within just to see if they are within one percent I should say let me know in the comments think of this as our channel we can do whatever we want so if there's something you want to see let me know in the channel in the uh, comments below I'm open to pretty much anything Okay, got those in. I think I can do, you know what's going to start getting a little too crowded, so I'll move these up out of the way a little bit. I should have some sticky tack somewhere. There we go. Let's get these soldered. Got again my lead solder. None of this is going to end up in the waterways, don't worry about it. It's very safe. Don't breathe in the, the fumes, even though they're not lead fumes. They are actually rosin fumes. Also, common sense. Don't uh, don't scratch open sores uh, after you've worked with lead solder. Wash your hands before you eat something. Don't touch your face. It's just just a little bit of basic stuff will go a long way. There we go. Cut these guys off. Oops, got two on that one. I do like the efficiency bump in doing two at a time. Now 
Okay, that's done. All those low profile components. Um, J1, S1. S1 is the switch. The switch will sort of hang on there by itself, so I can t chuck that one in there. Okay, got uh, two caps, two electrolytics. There's a, there they are. The NE555, famous NE555 that we all know and love. Put that in there. Oh, look at that. One of the legs popped out. You see that? Uh, that's because it's all bent from shipping. Try to straighten it out a little bit. And put the socket in correctly. See if I can push that leg down. Yeah, it seems to have worked. And there we go. I don't really know how how much voltage they want. I'll check if it's written on the on the silk screen. But if not, I know that a triple five timer is more than comfortable at nine volts, so I'll put it to nine volts. Ooh, this one's taking a little bit more heat. I like that they give me the socket. I don't think I'll be taking the triple five timer out of this circuit. But if I get desperate, I do have the option. I'm pretty sure if I ever run out of triple five timers, that would be a crazy day. I have a lot of them. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. All right. So, um, caps. What do we have here? 103. I think that's 0.1. I think that's 10 nano. 103. And 103. So all the same. We'll pop them on there. One, two, and three. Might as well do the electrolytics at the same time. So the band is negative. Put that towards the band. Oh, that one's huge. That's probably the one that's going to be charged up and then discharged to make the uh, the tone. I'm guessing. Oh, they don't really fit there together very well. It's not usual that they give us caps that are bigger than the design intended. Usually they go the other direction. But I will take it. Pretty sure I'm still in frame. Trying to get all these legs. Oops, bridge those two. That's not good. Let me see if I can trim the legs and then go fix that. Oops.
there we go separated okay geez I think that's it so speaker and jumper now we'll put the triple five timer in just squeezing the legs together a little bit and pop that in there and there we go so J1 is going to be just the power in I'm trying to work this I'm trying to bend the wire over J1 negative there we go just gonna solder these on whoops that didn't stay you know what I don't need to put them through the hole except I do need to know okay the outside one is positive I think it'll be easier if I just put a blob of solder over these yeah need a little bit more support than that though a little blob of solder over these and then just shove these on it's one these are tiny little wires but I don't expect too much current through here that's two okay and then the red will be very likely the middle one here and the outside one will be the negative that's for the speaker connection grab the speaker here is there a positive negative on the speaker doesn't look like it there's a way to find out you can connect a battery to it but I don't think it's a big deal if I'm in phase or not oh no the uh, soldering iron got stuck to the magnet probably got that real hot hopefully I didn't demagnetize it too much Okay, we're going to go positive on one side, and negative on the other side. And then negative on the outside here. Ouch. leg of a component's not letting me get in there there we go and positive on this pad and there we go that should be it whoops I left the leg there so that should be it that's our circuit done And now all we have to do is apply some power. So let me clean this up and we'll give it, I don't see a marking, but we'll give it nine volts and see what happens. Well, here's the moment of truth. Not sure if this will work or not, but uh, I have uh, 8.54 volts on this module here. And this might be a little iffy if it's connected or not, because it's easy to just crimp the insulation on these, but um, let's give it a shot. Oh, speaker's doing something. There are three milliamps here. Let's see what happens if I press the button. That definitely works. It sounds horrible. Oh, I got 200 milliamps here. That's not good. Anything hot? I'm going to drop this down. Yeah, the triple five timer is really hot. I'm going to drop this down to uh, five volts, see what happens. Uh, 
I don't think it's backwards. Nope, positive, negative. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Diode's hot. Nope. Uh, caps the correct way around. Yeah. Yeah, let's give this another shot here. 5 volts. 44 milliamps. Uh-oh. I think she's dead, Jim. Okay. Well, very interesting. It worked once. Just taking a quick look here. All the caps are 25 volts. No solder bridges that I can see. It looks good. I'm not sure what's going on here. The triple five timer is in the correct direction as well. NE555P. What I can do though, is tear this out and replace with a known good and see what that brings us. Nothing's bent. Let me go grab another one. Got here a fresh, never before used triple five timer. And let's see if this is okay. And if it's not, well, I guess we'll have to figure out why. Whoops, already it's not off to a good start. Okay. It seems like the socket might be warped. Very hard to put that triple five in. I think it is making contact though. Well, let's give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen, right? That's working. And we have no milliamps. Look at that. So it works. Pretty annoyingly, but it does. Am I feeling something hot here? No, don't think so. Ah, it makes a noise with the uh, cap charged up, and then when you let it go, it makes a different noise as it's discharging. Oh, there you go. Somehow, this triple five timer fried. Might have been a fake one. I don't know. I'm not even sure these are legit, but this does work. There you go. So, successful kit. Not too many problems, just a bunk triple five timer. Other than that, what can you do? Thanks again for watching. See you next time.